Good morning and welcome to my presentation from today, which is called Level Up Your Polyurethane Powder Coating. Uh, so this is an approach uh, how to cure blocking agent free polyurethane powders uh, at lower temperatures, but uh, keeping properties uh, like known if cured at 200 or, or 180 degrees. So let me start with um, some applications where polyurethane powders are currently successfully used. This is, for example, for appliances uh, where highly chemical resistance is needed. This is, for example, for, uh, for anti-graffiti coatings where uh, high TG is needed. This is for uh, aluminium. Uh, window frames where uh, thermosublimation properties are uh, needed. This is for uh, bike frames where, uh, uh, yeah, uh, where hard coatings and but also flexible coatings is needed. When we started this project, several obstacles need to overcome. This is, for example, usually uh, so far. Um, uh, the polyurethane coatings must be cured at 180 degrees C or higher. Uh, next obstacle are leveling and uh, storage stability. So in case you uh, activate your polyurethane powder to a certain extent, uh, that uh, the chemistry or the reaction happens even at room temperature. And next, in case you cure at lower temperatures, the melt viscosity of the powder coating is also uh, lower, so that's why you um, may have uh, leveling issues. And at least, uh, this is also known for polyurethane coatings in general, in case you, uh, uh, you cure two or three curing cycles, you uh, may have a certain uh, issue concerning overbake stability. So, a new approach is needed combining uh, those, uh, so combining low temperature cure possibilities beside leveling and stability. Uh, let's take a closer look to the chemistry of blocking agent free cross linkers, uh, blocking agent free polyurethane coatings. So, uh, two isocyanate groups, as shown here, are uh, block each other to form the so-called uretine ring and when you add a certain amount or a stoichiometrical amount of OH groups, any kind of OH polyesters uh, and you cure at 180 or minimum 180, the isocyanate uh, uretine ring cleaves and uh, can form uh, the polymer uh, by reaction with the polyester. Uh, quite, uh, when you add a certain amount of this catalyst, which is well known, which is quite old, uh, uh, around 1% to the crosslinker itself, you can cure even at 160 degrees C. As I said, this is a quite known catalyst. Uh, up to now, not, uh, not in use due to the fact that uh, this is a liquid and also you have certain yellowing issues, but time changes uh, from a current point of view. We think that there is a need in the market for high, uh, uh, for low temperature curing systems. So that's why uh, we think that this is a new approach currently. Okay, so the first obstacle you, you may have is uh, leveling. Uh, when you cure at 160 degrees C because of the melt viscosity of the, uh, of the resins and, and the powder coating itself, uh, that you end up in a smoothness of probably four or five. So, and, when you add, uh, uh, and when you switch to a crosslinker like our Vestagon EPBF 1350, which has a much lower melt viscosity at these temperatures, uh, you can improve the leveling to a certain extent. In this case, this was uh, from smoothness 4 to smoothness 8. Good. As I said, another obstacle is uh, overbake uh, issues, especially when you use this catalyst, you have some yellowing issues. And uh, 
so this should be shown here. When you usually cure at 200 degrees C and you uh, cure, sorry, and you cure three times for 20 minutes at 200 degrees C, you have this yellowing issue here as shown here, but this can easily be stabilized with uh, standard antioxidants, for example, the Erganox 1010, uh, then you can stabilize the, the yellowing issue to a certain extent as shown in this picture. Um, so, when you use this combined approach, as I said, this, uh, our Vestagon EPBF 1350 for better leveling, uh, use the catalyst for, for better reactivity, use the antioxidants for better layering issues, and uh, also appropriate polyesters uh, for good leveling at low temperatures, you uh, end up in a system which can be used uh, at 160 degrees C. Here, uh, here is an example when you cure, uh, so when you use a standard crosslinker, a standard uridion based crosslinker, or our Vestagon APBF 1350, it can be cured at 50 minutes, 200 degrees C, without any issues, no problem. When you add 1% of DBN, you can cure down to 50 minutes, 170 degrees C. Uh, and uh, when you use a certain amount of acid scavenger, like an, any kind of epoxy resin, to, um, to neutralize the acid in the polyester, you can even cure at 160 degrees C. So, the coatings we, uh, we formulated with this approach, they were storage stable uh, more than two years meanwhile. And uh, we think that this could be an approach from a current point of view for, uh, for aluminum rims or for, for agriculture machinery. Thanks for listening. In case of any question, feel free to ask.